Hey, it's Fly Friday. How's everybody doing? I'm just checking in. I'm trying to establish a great place to put my phone and it seems to not be working. So let's tag some friends and see who's out there today. Should we share this? Let's invite some people. Hey. That's what I'm doing now. So, hey there. How you doing? What's going on? <laughs> Let's see what's going on out there. Hey. When you come on, just say hello. Just trying to send out some invites and see who wants to join going from there if you know somebody that needs to be invited by all means send out the invite <laughs> i am just doing just that i actually was hey paris how you doing it's been a long time <laughs> Yes, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm just checking in with everybody. This is just what this is. That's all it is. It's just to check in, just to see how everybody doing. And that's it. Nothing on the books, nothing, you know, like formal, that kind of thing. So I'm just, this is just random once a week kind of thing where I am just checking in with everybody. So that is all for me. Um, just trying to, I was going to try to do this on another device, but, oh, thanks. He's so sweet. <laughs> I love you too so much. Thank you. Um, tell the Mr. Hello. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's it. I am just trying to have some fun with this and see how everybody's doing because every once in a while you know you need somebody to check on you and that is exactly what this is just to check in just to see what's going on um if you have um a prayer request i would be honored to come alongside you and link with you and pray with you and go from there so you know that's where i'm at <laughs> Um, tell me what's going on with you. How's life? That's it. That's all. Hello, Sean. Welcome to the party. <laughs> How are you doing, sir? Nice to see you. Well, not physically, but you know. <laughs> yes, not much is up, sir. Not much at all. Just trying to uh, check in with everybody. Those that I don't get an often time to see. So that's it. This is just a Fly Friday check-in. Because everybody's always on the go. So I just want to make sure that I'm checking in with some of my Facebook friends. Right? At least for me, I can say friends. Because I have touched and agreed with everyone that I am friends with. Hey, how you doing, Miss Whitley? Thank you so much. I appreciate you coming in. Yes, thank you so much. I am loving checking in with people too. Thank you. Um, this has just been something kind of fun and just random to do. And I figured since, you know, it's Fly Friday for me, why not share that Fly Friday and make sure that it's a ripple effect for everyone else? I want everybody else to have a Fly Friday. So that's just where I'm at and what I'm doing. So do you know anybody that needs to share in that fabulous Friday? By all means, let me know. Um, I'm excited to share it with them. So um, one of the things that I posted on my Facebook today was about the body, like the human body. And so I just found that to be interesting that we talk about this aspect this time of the year 
uh, where everybody is in the world making resolutions and goals and things. But I know that those that um, are wanting to, you know, write the vision as we do in the body of Christ and make it plain, um, we consult with God first. So that's what we are doing. Um, okay, I see you, Miss Paris. Okay. Let's see what you got here. I'm trying to see if I can see more. Um, nice. Yes. All right. I love it. Keep on practicing. I am doing the same. So just know, be encouraged. Be encouraged. Um, and know that you are not alone in wanting to practice your celibacy. Um, I actually have a whole host of friends that are practicing this very notion in singleness. Um, and we are definitely turning it up for Jesus. So just know that you're not alone. And if you want to direct message me, maybe I can get you linked in with this group so you can have some others that are come alongside you and link up with you. So, um, hey, Anthony. Hey, Satasha. Nice of you guys to join. Good to see these names coming up. So I am um, just up here, just checking in. Like I said, this is just a place and space where you can just come in, say hello. If you have a uh, prayer request, you can put them in there um, or let me know and I can come alongside you guys and pray with you guys. Definitely want to keep everybody lifted up this season going into the new year. Because I, I don't know about you guys, but I'm expecting some really great things to take place this year. Um, and I know that God is going to do it. Just hands down. He is already moving things and shifting things. And I am believing and trusting him to continue to do so. Hey, Kelly, I see you. I see you, Miss Kelly. Nice of you to join in and drop in just even if it's for a few moments. Hello, Miss Lolo. I see you. All right. Tell Mr. Cherry a hello for me and happy belated birthday. Um, and I know that somebody else's birthday is coming up soon too. So happy early birthday. Um, but I am just up here just doing a check in before I um, have my ladies Bible study tonight. I want to just do this as a means to check in with my friends on Facebook, family members on Facebook, those that can and um, can tune in. I know five o'clock is asking for a lot for people because some people are still clocked in for work and some are still mid shift counting down the hours. <laughs> and so I totally get it. I have been on all of the extremes. I've been late shift. I've been mid shift. I've been early shift, which that's what I'm on now, which I'm grateful for. Um, thank you, Miss Lolo. You know, I got my paparazzi on. Boop, boop. <laughs> and, uh, but definitely relate to those that are still working. I know that's hard. And we don't always get the shifts that we want. Um, but I know that at least we can say we have a job at this point because there are some and so many that don't. And that's where my heart grieves um, in this season for those that don't have jobs and those that want to support their families. And it is just my hope that they find those avenues to um, have a job. So, um, but neither here nor there, we will keep them lifted up. Hey, Alicia. Yes, Flotastic. You know, you are the only one that calls me that, and I'm so honored. <laughs> it's good to see you. I will always and forever still call you Dr. Brown. Um, that will always be between us. And um, But, hey, Lolo, I see you said I am uh, early, middle, and late shift. I know that's right. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's so nice to see these names pop up and poke your heads in, even if it is for a few minutes. Um, loving what God is doing in your life, Miss Alicia. I know things are just coming at you fast, but you are handling it well. You look good, at least in all the pictures that I see of you that are taken by Mr. Brown. Make sure you tell him I said hello and that I love him. 
and uh i'm excited for what 2021 is gonna do um in this season i'm excited to see all the things that are going to transpire in each of your lives and how you're going to grow and how you're going to um, be stretched and be uncomfortable. Uh, that's one of the things I know. I attend Elevation UC and one of the lessons that our very own Pastor Chet preached was talking about the UC part, which is the uncomfortable aspect of you know, walking with Christ. But in order for us to be like him, we have to bear that fruit of just long suffering and patience and just being still and that's one of the things i know that is hard for me sometimes is the being still but i think as i'm maturing in age and as i'm maturing in my walk with him i'm finding it to be a lot easier to be still i would rather be still than wanting to go 100 miles an hour um like i used to do in the world where everything was like boom 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 and for me i was just like no nah. now i'm in a place in space where i'm not um i'm not wanting to do that anymore so but that is neither here nor there and i'm just grateful to you know be in a place in space where God has gifted me to be connected to such amazing people. Um, the body of Christ is truly gifted and talented. And one of the things I learned this past weekend from our very own Pastor Stephen is that the things that I have, I have because God gave to me. And there are things that each of you right now on this live have that I don't have, and I need you in order to make this body of Christ whole and knit it together as such. And so where I may be the one gifted in the background of leading a group, there's somebody on this call who is called to lead in the forefront and preach the gospel on the stage. And so I'm cool supporting you in that. And so that's, for me, that's what I think is amazing. And, um, Again, I'm just trying to use the form of the body of Christ as what I posted today on my Facebook page about how important it is to take care of not only our physical bodies, but to take care of the body of Christ and realize that we need one another in order to um, continue this fight, continue this warfare that um, goes on that's unseen. And when it does make itself known in the earth at that point that's the fruit we need to be getting deep and below the level and get behind the scenes and speak into the spirit and just be like enemy you need to sit down have several seats because there are times when i do my karate y'all i just want you to know i picture what i think is the enemy's face because i can't see it so i'm just like right here where my eye level is that's where you are right now and i'm gonna punch you in the face i'm gonna punch you in the throat i'm gonna kick you in your ribs i'm gonna take you down every way possible so that's for me what's kind of <laughs> my thrive <laughs> in taking karate now um and helps me to really focus is you know, whether you're doing a sport, whether you're doing like what I'm doing, which is, you know, doing karate or taekwondo, um, it does definitely bring to fruition the scripture where you're fighting the good fight of faith and the one where I get to stomp on the enemy's head and keep him in his place. And so for me, that's what makes it exciting. Um, to do karate and be able to say, you know what? I am a mighty warrior. I am a masterpiece. I am fearfully and wonderfully made because I was made in a secret place. And when you are made like we are in a secret place, only God can go into the secret place. And so for me, that gives me such great hope. This past couple of weeks, I had read um, this book called Lady in Waiting. And in one of the chapters, it talks about how we are pearls. We are pearls in the sight of God. And there are things to enhance your necklace or your pearls. And that, for me, um, is where you get to bear the fruit of the Spirit. And when you bear the fruit of the Spirit, you keep adding on these pearls. Hey, Tanya, nice of you to join. Mm -hmm. To you, too. 
Um, and so just talking about those pearls and talking about how each of those pearls are representation of the fruit of the spirit. And so you want to definitely add pearls. You don't want to add beads to a necklace uh, of pearls because beads are things contrary to the fruit of the spirit. And so um, for me, I've been working on my removing my beads and adding my pearls um, and being intentional about that. So, but um, that's just a little nugget on something that I read um, in the last couple of weeks. Um, just wanting to be um, a lady and waiting for the Lord as we all should be. And I am truly excited um, to shift my perspective as um, I am going into this you know, season of singleness, it is definitely eye opening uh, in such a different way. Um, just to be able to one, acknowledge that because for those of you that know my story and know, because most of you do, you know, being a widow of a man of God, of, um, <laughs> I can't even like, oh, he was a man of God, a husband, a father, a brother, an uncle, a cousin. He had several labels in the earth, but the most important one was that he was the son of God Most High. And I am appreciative of his journey. And even now, as he has passed on and, and is on the other side waiting for Jesus, just like we are, I just love that his life still speaks to me, that his impact has been in such a great and profound way that I want to share that impact with others and just making sure that those like you, Alicia, who are married, that you continue to hold on um, to your your husband as tight as you can. And like Miss DeLois, the same thing that you are married and you hold on to your husband. But for those of us that are not married, that there is hope in the Lord, because as we are in our singleness, we should be preparing for him first and foremost and always. And that will carry over into your marriage and that will carry over into all your other relationships that you're connected to. And so for me, um, that's important. And I am excited about this journey. I could, I want to share it with everyone I know, like single or married, just because God has gifted me to be able to speak to both sides of that spectrum. And that truly is a blessing and a gift that I don't take for granted. And that it helps me in my singleness to remember now, okay, when I was married, this, or when I, now I'm single, so I can't. And so these types of things, it opens my eyes and the doors to boundaries, to uh, understanding that sex is to, supposed to be in the confinement of marriage. And it is for a reason. And let me tell y'all, it's hard when you have something <laughs> and it get taken away and you be like, whoo, <laughs> it definitely causes your prayer life to be different. It definitely causes, um, it does shift your friends a little bit. It does because for me, you know, being single now, not saying like my friends like Miss DeLois and Miss Alicia are not right there with me because we have been friends for so long. But I do have to respect the boundaries and that you guys are still married and that I am not. And just wanting to be respectful in that nature where, you know, I'm not going to come to the house and your, and your husband is there. This is just not going to happen. I'm going to wait outside or I'm going to just come back. Um, and so just understanding what that looks like. Um, and it's different for everyone. You know, I can't speak for everyone. I just speak for flow and I just want you guys to know that. So, um, I'm just wanting to try to just share the wisdom that God has just given me and, and not take it for granted. And I know that, um, the word in James says, you know, that we can ask generously for wisdom. And one of the things I found is, you know, when you ask a thing, <laughs> God is going to be like, okay, you asked. And so I'm going to give. And just understand that when you ask for something, this is a two-way street. There's going to be some stretching and some pulling and some bobbing and some weaving. And there's going to be some, you know, you're going to have to fight a little bit. You're going to have to, you know, put your dukes up and punch, punch. Um, and hey, um, Angelo, I did see that you said hello. Um, 
It's good to see that you are able to join in even for a brief moment. Um, I know that some are still working, so I appreciate the jumping in and saying hello. Um, but yeah, so I just am up here doing this check-in, um, making sure that everybody is good and wanting to just share some love and some laughs maybe. I don't have jokes just yet, but I'll keep working on it. Love you, Alicia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and wanting to um, make sure that everybody is just receiving some love because love is God and God is love. And I just feel like that's what's needed um, in this season, at least something that I can share. Um, and wanting to share a smile. One of the things that Miss Lolo taught me is that a smile doesn't cost me anything. So why would you not share it? And so that's one of the things that I want to do and um, just continue to share and give in that way. Um, what else? Anybody have any questions for me um, as far as uh, what's going on in your side of the nation, the world, the city, um, the state? Because I do have friends that respectfully are across this nation. And um, I know some people that are in Washington State. I know some that are in South Dakota. I know some in the North, like New York, and as South as Florida. And some that have lived in Texas. Not sure if there are any on this live that are from Texas. But either way, <laughs> I just am doing this check-in again. Like I said, just to check on everybody and see how they're doing. And uh, wanting to make sure that, you know, some love, some laughter is uh, shared along the way. Um, what else? I, um, oh, let's talk about motherhood for a second, okay? Just briefly, um, for those parents out there, don't give up. Don't give in. Um, that's one of the things that I can truly say that I'm grateful for is the mothers and even still fathers that I'm connected to. Um, I am grateful to be linked up with aunts and uncles too, to my son, um, both in the spirit and in the, in the flesh, um, that care for him and love on him, um, uh, from afar and from up close. I, uh, want to just encourage all the parents out there and just say, listen, I know the fight is real. It is. Um, I feel you. The weight is heavy. Um, I just can't even begin to tell you, but just know that you are not fighting this fight alone as a parent, as an aunt, as an uncle, as a grandparent, in whatever capacity that you have children or know of children, please know that you are not alone and that I don't want you to give up. Just hold on. There's one scripture that for me, I have really just been resonating on and holding on to, and that is hold fast to the profession of your faith without wavering because he is faithful. God is faithful and he will keep you like nobody else. He will sustain you. He will give you the strength that you need um, to keep on fighting. So that would be um, something that I want to encourage all the parents in, whether single or married. Um, that's one of the things that I just don't want you to give up. Hey, cousin, I see you, Tay. Um, thank you. I love you. Glad you could hop on. Um, good to see your beautiful picture. <laughs> how are you? Let me know how you're doing. Oh, thank you, Miss Lolo. I appreciate it. <laughs> I definitely uh, learned to have my hands to receive God's blessing. So thank you so much. Um, I appreciate that. Um, took me a long time to understand that, you know, you can keep your hands like this and praise him. But there are some times where he wants you to turn your hands just as simple as that so that he can bless you. So thank you, Miss Lolo. I appreciate that. Um, but yes, I am truly grateful uh, in this season. Um, to be able to 
uh, share just some things that I am learning along the way. And I think this is a great place and avenue to do just that for my friends and family. I actually thought about going live on Instagram, but uh, my son was like, no, you don't have you don't have that many followers on Instagram. I said, that can change. <laughs> so, you know, just being optimistic. I had thought about it. We'll see what happens. I kind of am trying to just get adjusted to this whole going live thing. I didn't think I would be able to, um, to do it by myself. But the good thing is, is that I'm not by myself. Even if I was to talk to the audience of one, which is my heavenly father, whom I love and whom he loves me. That's all that would matter. Um, just so you guys know, I don't know who will listen to this or watch it again or watch the replay. But for those that question on how to talk to God, just like I'm talking to you guys virtually right now, that's exactly how I talk to God. Um, I just believe that talking to him is like talking to you guys right now. Nobody can talk to me unless I invite them in, right? And so unless we invite God into our lives and into our hearts, there's no way. I mean, he's still going to be a gentleman. He's just going to wait on the sideline and say, I'm still going to be here. I'm still active in your life. I'm still showing you shimmers of who I am and the little grains of love of who I am along the way because I want to woo you. I want to pursue you. I want to love you in such a way um, and just give you life and life more abundantly. And I think that's one of the things that I hold on to about him is life and life more abundantly. Um, that's what I want others to have. I want you to have this this inner beauty, this inner love, this joy, this peace that can't be taken from you and uh, just know that that's what I want to share. Miss Lolo, you said I should start a YouTube channel. <laughs> that's hilarious. Um, well, I will consider the thought. Um, you know, you are a woman of wisdom and so I will definitely think about that and see. We'll go from there. Never know. <laughs> we'll see what God has for me. Um, Hello, Miss Rita. Long time. No see. I'm glad I got to see your name. It's good to see you. I send you love. Um, hello, Miss Sandra. How are you? Good to see you. Nice of you to join. Glad you could tune in, even if it is for just a brief moment getting off work or for those that may be retired, because I have some people up here who are retired. I aspire to be just like you guys. Um, and then those that are seeking employment because you're a youth, maybe. Um, <laughs> so I know that there are some that I'm friends with that I train with, at least in karate, that are a youth. And so I am still a youth. I just want you guys to know, please understand that I am still a youth. Um, and I laugh at that. Um, love you too, Miss Rita. Love you too. Um, people uh, laugh at me. When I go, well, when we were going to the building uh, for worship um, and they would say the youth and I would always raise my hand. I am still a youth. I mean, God considers me his child and he says that he will train me up in the way I should go. So when I get old, I will not depart from it. Right. So this is kind of the ongoing discussion I have with my son to let him know just even though I'm your parent. Please understand, in the eyes of God, you are his son and I am his daughter. And uh, that will never change. And I am just elated and excited to be able to be, and I tell my son this all the time, that God trusted me that much to raise you, like to co-raise you, really, because God is really raising you. I'm just physically present so that you will have a tangible body to hold and hug and see because my love my love is nothing compared to what God's love is for you and that's what I tell him all the time um I love you but God loves you more and he will never leave you and he will never forsake you and that's one of the things we've learned um you know walking this life where it's a challenge to train up a young man in the way he should go 
um, because I'm not a man, obviously, as you can see. <laughs> um, and, you know, for me, I, I do have my moments where I find it challenging, but I definitely know when God is stepping in to raise him because while we are in this quarantine and I may not have big O here, let me just say the residual effect of his presence is still here. And I really believe that my son knows that and he senses that. And so, hey, Miss Gloria, how are you? Um, good to see you could poke your head in. Um, nice of you to drop in. Um, that's all right. You just got on and I'm winding down the time here. I will be getting off shortly, but I was just in a moment just talking about the importance of um, my son and raising a young man and how important that is. And while I can't give him all of the manliness that is required, I know that God is going to do just that. And I pray for the men of God. Um, I definitely will. I will definitely will, Miss Gloria. I'll catch you up later. Um, but just um, raising a young man and praying for the men in his life that are active in his life, from his uncle to his cousins to um, even like his leaders um, in the body of Christ, um, the men of God that have chosen to accept um, and be a leader uh, in the church and lead young men in the way that they should go. Um, so I just want to give a shout out. I don't know if they'll watch this, um, but a shout out to his two leaders, Mr. Uh, James and Mr. Vanille. I think it's vital and important to shout them out and um, just let them know I appreciate them. Um, and I appreciate his uncle, uh, Tim, and his cousins. There's a whole list of y'all um, that are men, but I know Terrence comes off to mind and his cousins like Angelo and um, his cousin uh, Tim Jr. and um, just a host of other cousins, uh, Sherwood and uh, his age cousins like Isaiah and um, who else? Um, Tim the third and just wanting to give them a shout out and let them know. Um, that I appreciate them. There's a host of other family members that do the same. I don't want to be remiss and say, of course, his grandfather. Um, appreciate him and love him so much. And um, there's just a host of people that are our cloud of witnesses around us and love on us. But um, so I see that my Dog is here along with my son who is in the room. Say hello. Poke your head in. Come on. Just say hello. Hi. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my baby, y'all. And he is probably down here because he's like, Mom, it is about that time to eat. Um, of course, you know, got to feed him and clothe him. So I just want to say thank you all for tuning in today. Um, so I'm just going to call it a wrap. I'm going to just close out with God bless you and keep you and may his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. And may he look upon you with his favor and give you peace. Love you guys. Mwah. Thank you, Miss Gloria. We'll talk to you guys soon. Peace out. <laughs>